Well, let's move to River State now, where Governor Nyesong Wike has accused the federal government of diverting two armored helicopters it procured to fight crude oil theft and piracy in the state, and also to fight Boko Haram. Wike said that uh, the government purchased the helicopters worth over $10 million and handed them over to the Nigerian Air Force to tackle insecurity in the state. He said that this at the presentation of 29 operational vehicles to the police at the relaunching of the River State Security Outfit, codenamed C41, at the government house, Port Harcourt. The governor explained that his administration has continually demonstrated its resolve to rid the state of criminality through the provision of operational vehicles, gunboats and other forms of support for the security agencies. He, however, expressed disappointment that some of the equipment provided by the state government to support security agencies in the fight against crime were often diverted to other states of the country to the detriment of River State. We have promised the army We'll give the Army five gun boats, we'll give the Navy five gun boats, and we'll give the police five gun boats. But let the gun boats remain within the territory of River State. I'm down here to buy gun boats for any state. The day I hear you've taken our gun boats to another state, I'll collect them back. Air Force, we cannot buy. In fact, we have, we have given Air Force two armored helicopters. Let the Nigerian Air Force know. River State gave them two armored helicopters. Two armored. You know how much it is? Over ten million dollars. Governor Wike said, with the relaunch of the C41 security outfit, the River State Police Command should become more proactive in fighting crime. He urged the police and other security agencies to take the war against criminality to the criminals. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, who was represented by the Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 16, Austin Agbonaho, said the relaunch of the C41 marks a new vista in the concerted fight against criminality. I don't want to hear, oh, they kidnap two people. Then CP said, go after them. No. No, no, no. Start now, as you are today. From today, go after all these criminals. And CP and other security, they say, enough is enough of patronizing, of talking to these criminals who will not continue to do that. This auspicious event of the commission of the 29 branded police, branded patrol vehicles, and the avilion of the rebranded security outfit codenamed C4I. The Inspector General of Police, who is visibly happy with this development, has already directed the Rivers State Commissioner of Police to deploy them effectively for optimal result with a view to realizing the full potentials of the outfit. It's a clear manifestation of your desire to ensure that crime is reduced to the barest minimum in this state. And I want to assure you, sir, that the patrol vans, which are meant to re reactivate the security outfit, codenamed C4I, is a moral booster to my men. It shall be put to optimal use and attended to as and when due to ensure durability. The governor disclosed that the state will soon deliver later state-of-the-art equipment to the Department of State Services to enhance the operational capability to track down criminals. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.